it's a fantastic way, I suppose, to finish the year. Um, it is busy in terms of championship. Obviously, we start off with the underage, go through the senior into county, which is our you know mainstay, and then obviously this time of year we're going through the club championship. But it's always great to have a, a night like this, just to look back, you know, commemorate I suppose those who did well on the field of play. But maybe as importantly to look back at the Hall of Fame, distinguished service, you know, say thanks to those I suppose who, who got some of the players of today to where they are. The interesting thing is that if you go to a GA All Stars event, whether it's ladies or, or men, it's always actually the participants in, in the game, the high performers effectively that are awarded. The beauty about these awards is that it actually rewards people who've made other contributions effectively to the GAA, particularly here in Munster. And when you see referees getting acknowledged, when you see the media getting acknowledged in terms of their writing of our games, and when you also see effectively people who are either making the tea or actually have been PROs or, or people involved with uh, various clubs. And, and also the idea that a, a specific club in Munster is acknowledged as being the best club, and this year it's Dr Crokes, and congratulations to them. Tonight when we, we, we celebrate we, what we believe everything that is good and has been good about the GA, uh, in this year we celebrate our players at inter-county level and at club level all up along. Uh, we celebrate people from the past, we celebrate our, our Hall of Fame recipients who have have distinguished themselves on the field of play both in hurling and football and we honour our administrators, our referees and then we honour people from the schools and you know people that have made a contribution uh, to Gaily Games maybe over the last year and over maybe some of them over a lifetime. I've talked to a few of the lads uh, during the week and they were telling me that um, this is going on for a good number of years and that it's a big big award to, to get and uh, thanks to Borgosh Energy they sponsor it every year and uh, you know, it's a great honour, really. I suppose at the end of the year, you know, especially we had a disappointing year, and um, you know, well, obviously we won, won the Munster Championship, but you know, at the end of the year, the main objective is to win the All Ireland. But if you don't, you know, these accolades at the end of the year are always, um, always nice to get. It's nice to get recognised at the end of the year. Um, you know, it was a, it was a roller coaster of a year, like you know, back to back monsters, which is a great achievement. Like you know, we'll, we'll, we'll be looking hopefully next year to go one step further than Munster. And Eamon is in, in the fray now as manager. Um, yeah, we, we, we worked with Eamon a bit, uh, he was in with Liam Chidi's team, he would have been a, sort of our coach like in 2010 and even 2009 and 2008, like you know. So Eamon is a good man for the job, like you know, and he's he's an honest, um, he's an honest man. and. I, I think I think it could be the correct decision for Tipperary. It's it's fantastic achievement for the club to win it, and it means a lot. And we want to, um, like it's it's uh, we see it every day. Like you, you need sponsorship to to maintain high standards. And Board Gosh have been fantastic sponsor in 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 doing this award and acknowledging the work of um, f f the, and the achievements of players and indeed to us um, club boys. 2012 was a good enough year for Munster, I suppose. If you look back at over the whole year, you'd say coming towards the end, no team from Munster in the All Ireland seeing a football final or the All Ireland seeing a hurling final, that would be a disappointment. Even though they, 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 some of the teams acquitted themselves well on the way to the quarter finals and semi finals. But from a point of view of overall, we would be happy enough in Munster with the standard of, that was maintained in Munster. Overall, we'd be happy enough with the, with the level of attendances and with the level of competition.